Congrats to the winner. To stay on top of any new videos or future contests, be sure to hit the sub and notification button. Now on to the video. What is going on, beautiful people? It is Froboy. I'm here to do another unboxing video. Today, we're going to have a lovely Star Wars helmet to review by this dude from Russia. Now, I'm not going to bother pronouncing their name because you guys know I butcher it. That being said, like I promised on um, last time I reviewed one of these, I want to diversify my content. So let's check this out. Where is that knife? Alright guys, so here we have another fine piece by Samalo Art, a dude from Russia who is well known for his diverse uh, set of clone helmets or just Star Wars helmets in general. This is the second helmet I've had and I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this one. Now, if it isn't obvious, this is a uh, helmet from the Kamino clone troopers that you've seen in the Clone Wars. These are typically the uh, reserve personnel that stay on Kamino to defend it when needed. Now, when I first got this helmet, I just kind of realized something. In hindsight, given that they wouldn't see battles as frequently as the other clones, like with the other one, the uh, wear and tear would not make that much sense. But considering that they've had a few noticeable events occur there, um, I do think that it would make sense for at least um, there to be a certain occasion where a clone would happen to have uh, the Kamino uh, garb and the style to uh, match wear and tear given by the battle. Now, of course, wear and tear can happen naturally in real life with anything, but it has to happen for periods of time. But that being said, you guys know I do like wear and tear just because it makes it convenient uh, where you never have to worry about, um, you know, something getting ruined over time you don't have to do that much maintenance not only that it looks more authentic like that like believable even if uh the position that this person was in or this clone in particular was in uh didn't really see that much action so you know i do like the uh, smudge i do like the scratches and for those of you wondering like if he really does this on purpose you gotta look at these uh things and consider that a lot of these scratches are happening post the paint. Now it's one thing if you see a few buff buffs and uh, damages when it comes to a, a helmet, but if you see consistent and like purposely designed, like this is way too much to just be simple accents where you know they uh, didn't where they already paint everything and then you know they just happen to get scuffles or got damage. From what you can see here, all these scuffles like you see with the other one are purposely done. The smudging is done. I mean, come on, realistically, this cannot get dirty on purpose. They purposely uh, do this, is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, for those of you who are curious, this is how uh, the style is more authentic in order to make it look good. Although, I will have to ask if he does, uh, can just skip to all the buffs and all the wear and tear so that I can get a helmet that's completely clean. I'm pretty sure he would. I mean, it doesn't seem impossible. I just always assume that, uh, you know, the uh, rough and scruff and stuff um, is by default because, you know, that's how all of his helmets are like. And again, this is all purposely done by default. I'll have to ask him about that. Anyway, uh, just like uh, the other uh, helmet, uh, you have a nice uh, breathing system here. Uh, let me show you the inside. Um, as smug as it is, it is a... Uh, it's snug, but you know, once you actually put it on, it's very, very easy. Not only that, it still has that pleasant marshmallow smell. Again, I don't know much about making helmets, so I don't know what that could be from. So, you know, if you happen to be familiar with uh, making uh, helmets or molds or whatever, you know, just let me know uh, what that smells coming from. Because I'm not going to lie, I'm becoming somewhat addicted to it just because I like wearing this helmet and smelling that. Also, something you notice is that this isn't an art trooper or captain or someone of higher rank. Uh, sorry, I'm a bit off with... Uh, rankings and positions uh, as you can see uh there's no uh antenna here there's no slot this is literally just a regular uh phase two uh clone trooper uh from camino and the cool thing about camino is that i've always found it interesting to see like this uh unique uh coloring to uh match like the camionitians camionitians I, I don't know how you pronounce uh, the people there that where they're known for wearing gray and white like it's matching there and i do think like that's a pretty obvious feature not only that, I was always fascinated by the uh, clone troopers there, given that, um, you know, especially during the last episode of the Clone Wars TV series, you would see these guys. And quite frankly, I do like gray, and I just generally like this style. I think it's pretty nice. Uh, again, like, uh, the consistency is quite uh, perfectly done, and it's something that, um, again, I'm just a huge fan of the way how some of these helmets look like. I mean, there's so much different variety when it comes to clone trooper helmets that, 
you know, I definitely uh, want to have as much of a diverse collection as possible and hopefully have like a huge wall of like maybe a hundred of these. <laughs> I don't know how possible that is, but hey, you know, uh, anything's possible as long as you invest the time and money into uh, getting these over time. With that in mind, um, I did, uh, I was actually pretty surprised when I saw this. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, if you want to get a helmet from uh, the guy, from uh, Somali Art, Smolov, sorry, Smolov uh, Art, you need to uh, purchase these uh, on his Etsy page where uh, he'll have a t typical design or a type of uh, helmet uh, from Star Wars that he's uh, either ready to make or is uh, offering to make for anyone who's willing to pay right then and there. So this was one of the options and I did like the way how it looks so I decided to give it a try. Mind you, um, I do want to try doing another custom like I did with the uh, lem with the uh, previous uh, clone trooper I did. Um, I do want to try maybe doing my own custom uh, clone trooper helmet or just Star Wars helmet in general. But quite frankly, I am pretty content with how diverse uh, the options are each time where, you know, I snag it and then, you know, I'll just um, get a hold of these. Uh, within a respectable amount of time. Speaking of which, he actually got this done within two weeks. Now, whenever you look on this page, it does say it could probably take like a month or two. I think it has to do with regular postage because he got this done within two weeks and told me like, hey, uh, you know, if you want to do DHL shipping, you know, just pay uh, this amount of money and then, you know, I can get it to you within a week uh, because DHL shipping is pretty dedicated. If you order stuff from Asia or just generally anywhere, like in Europe or just across the world, you guys will know that it's very dedicated when it comes down to uh, making deliveries outside the regular postage system that a country has. That's why they work pretty well globally. I'd use it to order stuff from Asia, from Europe, um, and you know, Russia's no different. Especially since uh, with this location where he's at is uh, in the European portion of Russia. So with that in mind, um, just to remind you guys of the previous price, it did stay consistent. After taxes, I paid two hundred and sixty something dollars, and then I p dropped uh, seventy dollars uh, two weeks later when he told me that he had the helmet ready to ship. That way, I can get it within a week. So again, normally you would just have to pay two hundred and sixty something dollars after taxes in order to get uh, this helmet. Again, this is a regular clone trooper helmet, and it's not one of his more complicated helmets. Uh, he does make other Star Wars helmets, not just the trooper helmets. But I'm just giving you guys an idea of just how much this costs. So again, I just paid a. Uh, uh, sixty-sixty-five dollars. Yeah, sixty-five dollars, and uh, DHL Express uh, International Shipping to the U.S. slash Canada. Uh, you can see this when you uh go to his uh Etsy page in order to uh see what he has to sell. Uh, pretty much, I got within a week, and you know, like it made good on the promise. So that in mind, I'm pretty happy with this. I definitely want to give this a, a ten out of ten. It uh pretty much pulls the look, and I just really don't have any complaints. Uh, this is probably, I don't remember if I rated the uh, last uh, Clone Trooper helmet, but I just really like it. I think it's a really good helmet, and I do uh, plan on ordering more. But anyway, guys, I'm glad you uh, watched the video. Don't forget to leave a lot like. It will uh, bring more attention to my channel, thanks to the YouTube algorithm. And if you can subscribe and hit the notification button if you haven't already, it would really help uh, my channel, especially since uh, you guys can be on top of any uh, videos that I upload in any future contests. But yeah, guys, if you have any questions and you have any thoughts or concerns about getting, maybe getting one of your own of uh, helmets made by this guy, you know, just uh, leave a comment down below. So, ciao for now.